Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, so we're gonna be doing some Isaac today as the internet is out. So what is what better time than to pre-record some Isaac? So I guess who I'm gonna be playing with is I'm gonna be, you know, going towards getting Isaac kills and eventually chess kills with every single character. So the next character in terms of difficulty, because I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe I've gotten a Isaac kill with, well, I know I've had several with Isaac, and I believe I've killed with Judas and Cain as well. So we're going to go to the next most difficult character, and that's Maggie, in my opinion. Well, she's not really that hard, but we have the three actual difficult characters coming up in the Blue Baby, um, What's-His-Face, and Eve. Uh, Samson, that's it. So those characters are not going to be fun to try to get chess kills with. I mean, Maggie is kind of slow and has kind of crap range. And, you know, I think she has the same damage as Isaac, uh, at least starting damage-wise. But she's not amazing. She's not, like, super OP or anything. But anyway, we get uh, Cursed Darkness on our first floor, which happens to be the cellar. Uh, I don't really want to fight the boss immediately. I'd rather attempt to find my item room first. But, you know, pretty much all I have left to do in the game is uh, I have to, well, for one, find every item. There's a few items that I haven't found. Like, for example, I haven't found uh, the item Fate. That's a really rare one. There's a couple items that I haven't picked up that I've unlocked, like, I don't know, Demon Baby, stuff like that, that I just unlocked, I believe, two runs ago, though, so I couldn't expect to find that one right away. And I have to get a Isaac kill with uh, this, this feller, Maggie. I do not want Spider Butt. And I have to get an Isaac kill with Eve, Samson, and uh, the other guy, Blue Baby. Yeah, and then I have to get chess kills with every character. I haven't had a chess kill with any character. And once all that's done, I'll be done with uh, Platinum God or whatever. So I still have, I guess, quite a ways to go because it's going to take a really long time to get a chess kill with every character, especially the more difficult ones like Blue Baby. It's probably going to take me many, many, many attempts to get a chess kill with them. So I really have no idea how long that will take, but hopefully I can eventually get it done. But anyway, our first floor with Maggie was a little bit disappointing because we didn't get a decent item from our first item room, but we'll continue on. I'm not going to be resetting quite yet. It's tempting to reset, but we'll just play this run and see how it goes, I guess. Maybe I'll get like a pentagram from a boss item, and if that happened, you know, all previous mistakes this game has made would be forgiven, at least for this run. So. Our boss that we fight anyway is uh, champion version Duke of Flies. It seems like pretty much every time I fight Duke of Flies recently, it has been a champion version. I don't know if that's just, you know, completely randomness or if there's like something more that I need to read into that, but I'm pretty sure it's just randomness. Anyway, I got hit a couple times already. Um, I really hate the Duke Flies when you have low damage like I do um, because he just, oh my goodness, he's so annoying because like the flies they come after you and they can hit you so easily because for like for one I'm slow and for two my damage is so low that I can't really fend off the flies and fight the duke at the same time but I used a bomb I kind of wanted to use that bomb to explore for the seek room but it's whatever and we get a health up and two soul hearts so hopefully that means since I have the two soul heart barrier I will be able to um, get a deal with the devil on this floor that's gonna be what I'm going for because that's, um, for the most part, the best way to like gain damage and stuff is by getting you the Mark, the Pact, or Brimstone from Deal with the Devils. And I already squandered my first half soul heart, but this was kind of a really annoying room to maneuver in. So I, I, I think that wasn't the worst thing in the world that could have happened. Hopefully I just won't come across too many more rooms like this. It is the basement, not the cellar. So hopefully it will be a little bit e easier. If we could just kill this meat guy. There you go, you're dead. Get one coin from killing him which is decent. I mean, it's, it's better than not getting a coin, I guess. And I really just would like some sort of item to get myself a damage up because if any of you watched the last run, um, I believe I called it Isaac was not good today because I tried the Isaac was good today challenge and yeah, I kind of got screwed over a little bit, but that tends to happen quite often in this game. Um, yeah, I like just had a, I had one of those no damage runs where you just don't get any damage upgrades the entire game. I think I got like one minuscule damage upgrade the entire game, so it's like trying to fight the devil with almost base damage. And for any of you that have tried to fight the devil with almost base damage, it does not work. It really just, you can't do it. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I really, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but I really do not want to do another of those runs, in all honesty. We'll check out this, I'll take it if it's not a great chest, but it is a great chest, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's just find our item room. If I had a bomb, I'd plant it here, and if I find a bomb, I'll probably end up doing that. See if I can't find myself a secret room. And, uh, you know, secret rooms usually just have coins in them, but 
or a slot machine but you know if it's not one of those two things of actually getting an item from the secret room that would be awesome like raw liver for example i'd love to get an item like that two hearts up or i don't know you know i guess i'd take something like epic fetus but i can't really expect that to happen either room full of fires kind of a nice calming room you can just destroy the fires don't have to worry about fighting any enemies and i got five cents out of it that's pretty good normally the fires don't tend to drop a whole lot but if i get another nickel i could potentially visit the shop i wouldn't have quite enough if i got another nickel and visited the secret room i could visit the shop and our uh, first item i should say because i didn't take the item from the first item room is going to be a little chubby which is a damage up because when you shoot him he does a pretty significant amount of damage and i really wish i could get into that great chest but i just don't have a bomb if i got a bomb i could get a great chest and my bomb back just from blowing that up and then I, if the great chest contained a bomb i could check like both likely locations for the secret room all i need is one bomb and we can make all of this happen well if the great chest contains a bomb itself we don't know if that for a fact or not but come on room you can drop me a bomb uh that's not what ended up happening and i only have a one soul heart barrier left so hopefully this boss that we're going to fight here is pretty easy it is easy and it's steven so i really hope that he drops the steven drop instead of the little steve drop although i'd take either one of them because they're both damage ups but um, obviously one of them is a much better damage up than the other one and i also should be getting a deal with the devil as long as i don't uh get hit more than two times in this room I'm going to try not to, but you just got to remember that Maggie is pretty slow. Um, she does have, you know, less speed than I believe any other character. I do believe she's the slowest character, as, at least in terms of starting speed. So I'll try not to get hit, but there's no promises here. I don't have enough knockback to uh, stay in one place and just kill the little Steve guy. I don't know what you call him. I guess I, I, guess I do. If you hit him at, like, the perfect angle, um, and we get little Steve, because I always get little Steve. But if you hit it at the perfect angle... That's what happens. And oh, great, we get Krampus. Um, actually, that's not really that great because I don't know, I would have preferred Brimstone or the Mark or, you know, Pact or really anything. But, you know, I guess I could have also gotten like a Devil Room with Bloody Lust and uh, what's that really crappy book? Monster Manual? Yeah, I could have gotten like that in a Devil Room. And they could have both been like three heart uh, deals. So, I mean, it could have been worse, I guess. But, you know, we will get a lump of coal from this. Lump of coal is good if you have a lot of range. The more range you have, the better the coal is. And this also means that I won't be wanting to take any shot speed upgrades this entire run. Because uh, shot speed makes lump of coal worse. As it it does more damage based on how long your tiers are in the air. And if you have shot speed, then it's not as good. And I think I will check out the curse room. Just in case there's like a nice little brimstone in there. I will lose my soul heart, but I will be able to recover the uh, half heart because there's a half heart sitting in the boss so i mean I'll, I'll lose a soul heart and i'll lose my soul heart barrier for next floor but heck i'd probably lose it anyway and we get uh guppy's head you know i'm actually going to take that along with me and we'll say farewell to the yum heart the yum heart can be extremely op if you come across a nun's habit but i very very rarely ever come across a nun's habit so i'm not too worried about it and uh, we'll head back into the boss guppy's head isn't amazing i mean it just does it creates flies once per room that do double your tier damage but you can use it every single at the end of every single room so it's it's kind of decent i guess um i will open this wasn't really worth it well i guess one key for three cents and a bomb isn't the worst trade in the world but i wouldn't really consider that worth it um all right so we got come on blue attack flies you know, Guppy's Head is a decent item. I think it's kind of underrated. Underrated. I don't like Yum Heart very much, unless, of course, you have Nun's Habit. And if you have Nun's Habit, in conjunction with Yum Heart, Yum Heart is very, very good. But um, it's not really that great in any other situation. I guess it's decent if you have, like, the battery and the 9 volt. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I will go ahead and fight this boss right away, and I'll try to not get hit by him. And if I don't get hit by him, then I have a pretty decent chance for a deal with the devil. Um, or Angel, I guess, because uh, I don't know if, you know, taking a lump of coal after a Krampus fight counts as, you know, you using a deal with the devil. I really have no idea. That'd be interesting to find out that one day. Um, I just want to keep my distance because if he charges and he's close to me, he will hit me because uh, I do have, you know, not the best speed. That's another thing that would really help is a speed up. Um, I won't be getting one. And, of course, I took damage during the boss because... This game does not want me to win. It never does. It, it really is frustrating sometimes. Um, 
You know, if, if I just wasn't Maggie, if I didn't have this horrible, horrible starting speed, I wouldn't have gotten hit there and I would have had not a guaranteed shot for a deal with the devil, but a very good one. Um, so we probably won't be getting a deal with the devil. There still is a shot, but it's a pretty bad shot. And I will not be taking Little Chubby because he's a terrible, terrible item. One of the worst items in the game. And we fight Ultra Pride. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it gets worse. So the problem with Ultra Pride is you want to keep your distance from the uh, green guy because he creates these green slime trails which do a full heart of damage. Um, they're really, really nasty stuff. And so you want to, if you can, stand vertically from him, not horizontally because he only um, shoots those green slime trails if you stand horizontally from him. But, I mean, if you have decent enough range, it's not... It's not that difficult, I guess, but I will get the left hand trinket um, from fighting this boss, which will make every chest uh, turn into red chests, which can be good, can be not so good. Um, the main reason why you'd want that is because red chests have a greater chance of giving you, well, actually a really good chance of giving you soul hearts, um, and they also have a good chance of, well, not a good chance, but they have a chance, a very rare chance of dropping like deal with the devil items, mostly guppy items i haven't really seen anything other than guppy items from red chest i think i saw shadow spirit of the night one time but other than that it's mostly just you know guppy's head guppy's tail guppy's paw i'd like to get guppy's paw guppy's paw would be awesome but uh hopefully the later in the game the better so i'll hold on to the left hand unless i find like a really good damage trinket but other than that we'll uh try our luck with the left hand and you know, it could end up to be a great item for us. It could end up to be a really crap item for us. I know for a fact I haven't had a single run where I became Guppy yet, and that's unlikely to happen this run as uh, I kind of squandered a decent deal with the devil chance I had on this floor already. Um, and I don't really like spending, you know, hearts on deals with the devil because, for, like, for Guppy items. I only like spending it for actually good items. Um... I don't have quite enough to access the shop, but I might as well pop it open just to see what we're working with here. All right, good. Now I need. Now I know I don't need to come back to check the shop. Um, but yeah, I, would, I imagine I probably would get at least one more cent throughout doing this floor, so that's why I went ahead and opened it. And we get three more cents in our uh, secret room here. But unfortunately, I don't really want the notched pickaxe, so I'm not going to be buying that. As good as that sounds, it's just kind of a useless item and uh, don't really have any need for it. I guess I could put some money into the slot machine and try to get myself um, pretty flies. Other than that, I don't really know if there's much else that needs to be done on this floor other than find the item room. Obviously, that's what I'm in search of right now. Don't worry, I didn't forget about it or anything. And we found ourselves a tinted rock, which hopefully will drop me the small rock, even though I really don't need any more uh, speed down at the moment. I'd still take it. But no, we just get a soul heart, which does create a soul heart cushion for next floor, and oh my goodness. We pick up the D6, alright, and I'll reroll that and get mom's knife. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take it, and uh, I guess we have the D6 as Maggie. I think this is only the second time I've ever found the D6, like as a non-Isaac character in a run. I'm pretty sure I found it as Eve once a long time ago, but it ended up being a really crap run anyway, and I died. But we pick up the mom's knife again. I know I pick up the mom's knife a lot, and I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. You know, I just want to get an Isaac kill with Maggie. I don't really care how I get it. I just want to actually get it. And uh, unlike the devil, mom's knife is good versus Isaac. Well, I mean, I guess it's decent against the devil as well, but it's much better against Isaac. And we'll head down to the next floor with a two soul heart cushion, which gives us a decent chance um, for a you know, deal with the devil floor this floor, which would be awesome. Uh, not sure how I didn't hit that, but we have to say farewell get Guppy's head, but it still counts as us having Guppy's head, so if we were to uh, wind up getting two more Guppy items this run, I'd turn into a Guppy with a knife, which would be kind of cool. I've never had that happen to me before. I've only been Guppy once, and it was an off-camera run anyway, so unfortunately you guys didn't weren't able to see it. I just want to find the boss room as soon as possible. I'm not going to open up the shop till after I find the boss room because I have a pretty, well, there's a decent chance the shop will be greed and I really don't want the shop to be greed. Well, I don't want to uh, run into a shop that's greed and wind up like losing soul hearts so that I, you know, that could take away some of my chance for a deal with the devil. Oh, come on guys. Must you do this? I really hate greed heads. They are so annoying. And luckily, some of my homing tears like helped out there a little bit. I can just shoot with my Steven here, my little Steven and my little chubby. 
Uh, both at the same time, and they can, like, take out enemies for me, I guess. Well, free Tinted Rock, you can't really argue with that. And a free Seeker Room as well, so there's two more Soul Hearts for our Soul Heart Cushion. So, it looks like we're having a pretty good chance at getting to deal with the Devil. Uh, Red Patch is a decent Trinket. It's a 33% chance to increase your damage by, I believe, 2 when you get hit. Um, I'm not sure if it's a damage increase by 2 or if it doubles your damage, but it does one of those two things. It increases your damage if you get hit. That's really all you need to know. Oh my goodness. I do not want to get hit by this champion, and I keep... Oh, that's what was hitting me. There's like this little spider behind me, and I just didn't see it because it was hidden behind Steven or something. Um, anyway, we lost a couple soul hearts there. But as long as we can kill this boss without losing the rest of soul hearts, I still have a decent chance for a deal with the devil. And uh, considering it's the hollow and it's not like a difficult boss or anything, I would say I have a pretty good shot at this. And sit down, son. I did manage to get myself a deal with the devil. And I'm back up to six hearts, so I feel pretty good about spending money on whatever happens to be there. Um, you know, flight is really good, but I don't want to spend two hearts on that. I'm sorry. And we'll get an additional heart upgrade um, from that, our eternal heart there. I think I'm just going to go check out the shop and then head down to the next floor. I guess I could uh, spend some hearts at the blood bank machine because a speed upgrade would be really nice. I mean, health upgrades are always nice, but I'd love a speed upgrade. Um, oh, yeah, and I also have to find my item room. I'm not thinking very clearly, obviously. Um, I wasn't even considering the item room. And, yeah, it was greed, as I suspected it would be. But if he drops the steam sale, I could reroll it. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I really never ever take the steam sale. I, I don't consider it a very good item, but he did not drop the steam sale. So I'm not going to be able to reroll it. And you die. Thank you. We get a bomb out of it. Some extra money, um, which I could use for gambling, I guess, at the um, at the thing. All right, we'll just call it that. <laughs> I, I can't talk right now. Very tired. I was so stressed about the internet going out last night. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Please don't take that seriously. Uh, I will put some money into these two machines, though. Try to get myself some heart drops. And any heart drops that I wind up getting, I'll spend on the blood bank. I guess I could be a little bit daring and spend a little bit, like, uh, without managing to get myself any heart drops. Although, if he drops a heart here, I would love that. Nope, it was just fly, as normal. I guess I could play down to, like, 10 cents. I do want to have uh, money for the shop next floor, because... I mean, I've had greed already, so I have a pretty decent chance of uh, it not being greed next floor. And he's not going to give me hearts. Um, well, two keys, I'll take that. That's decent, I guess. If I find any hard drops in the floor, I'll come back and uh, play on the blood bank a little bit. And two hit them, that's... Or one hit them, sorry, that was really awesome. And I took a hit there, so... Yeah, I probably don't want to be playing any uh, blood banks this floor. I don't know how I got hit there... Um, they're not supposed to be able to hit you if you're, like, directly, uh, horizontal from them, but, you know, this game sometimes does not follow its own rules, as any of you who have played it must know already by now. I just need some hearts to heal now, let alone, um, worry about the blood bank. And we do find our item room, though, so hopefully this contains something epic in it. And don't forget that I do have a health upgrade waiting for me, uh, while I have the D20. I don't know how useful that is, though. I don't think I can really use it for anything on this run, because I found it too late. So we'll go ahead and reroll that and crack the sky. I don't want crack the sky, but hopefully we'll be able to find um, enough rooms left. If there's three more rooms left, I can do another reroll, but it looks like I'm probably just about done already, so I don't think there are three more rooms left. Uh, who knows, though? We'll see. Take him out carefully, carefully. Don't be too um, hasty when it comes to this. I don't know how I got hit there. Again, the game not really following its own rules. Luckily with Maggie, she's pretty slow, so it's pretty easy to uh, run diagonally through those spike traps and not get hit. I could have done that for the sense as well, but I'm not too worried about it. It looks like we will uh, wind up getting another, ourselves another reroll for the item room, which is awesome. Pretty much what I wanted there. Take you out. Finally, a heart drop. I've been waiting for one of those for quite a while. And yeah, we will get another combat room, so as all the bee lookers kill themselves. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's go back to that room, hopefully get something good. I mean, even if it was just like wooden spoon, I would take that. I would love a speed upgrade right now. 
Um, I hate speed, I hate being fast, but at the same time, I also hate being really, really slow. So let's go ahead and reroll this, and we get a Mr. Mega. I was going to say a crappy spacebar item, but it's not. It's actually a pretty decent not spacebar item. Um, I guess I haven't found the regular seeker room yet, so I could check here and find on the first go. And it's just going to be six cents. But uh, I think I will go back and I'll play on the uh, blood bank machines a little bit longer, on the arcade machines a little bit longer. Mostly just to heal up, potentially get myself a soul heart shield for next floor so I could visit the deal with the devil room. Don't really have any other decent reasons to. Who knows, I might luck out and like get the blood bag on the very first play, that would be pretty awesome. Just need some heart drops here, fellas. That's the only reason why I'm here, if you could uh, oblige me quickly. If this skull game guy drops like 47 hearts, that would be awesome. He dropped no hearts. And it looks like we're not going to get anything, but well, I guess we got half a heart from there. And I could play you one more time and then I'll blow you up. Gave us half a heart, now I'll blow you up. And gave ourselves another half heart. And I'll play this like twice. Luck out and get the blood bag. Come on, you can do it. One more time. Forget about it. But I do have uh, 20 cents, which means which means if I didn't blow up that um, arcade machine, I guess I could have played it a few more times, but I'm kind of impatient. So we'll just head down to the next floor with our trusty left hand and enough sense to probably spawn ourselves an arcade on the next floor and uh, be able to maybe get a blood bag that time. It is possible to get those scents that are like in the... the ho no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I almost just walked down the door to the next floor without picking up the eternal heart. That would have been a ma massive fail. That was so close. I was scared. Almost gave myself a heart attack there. Alright, Curse of the Lost, so we're going to have a bigger floor. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing when you have the D6. Um, sometimes Curse of the Lost can be good when you have the D6 because that can give you more reroll charges. Unless, you know, of course, the uh, item room is like the very last room that you find. In that case, Curse of the Lost is pretty crappy. As it is if you don't have the D6 as well and you're just like doing a normal non-Isaac run. Alright, uh, we come across some knights here. I really hate knights, and I also hate shooting fires, so I wanted to take that out as fast as possible. Um, somehow I just stabbed that knight like directly in the face. I'm not exactly sure like how you're supposed to knife these guys, because um, like sometimes it seems to work right away and sometimes it takes forever. If I could get myself like a couple uh, reroll pedestals during this floor, that would be awesome. Um, taking a lot of damage, like I, I always take a ton of damage with mom's knife though, because it's such a close range weapon you have to get close to everything and we get mom's coin purse um, I could reroll that I guess I'm not really a huge fan of this item though I will buy the soul heart I don't know if I want to reroll that because like left hand is a decent trinket but it's not amazing uh, that is pretty amazing though so I'm glad I rerolled that although I will take the um, d6 along with me just for the item room but I will be taking the candle with me to the next floor because the candle is awesome. Uh, that's not going to like guarantee me a win or anything, but it definitely helps quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to need some more health, and I'm probably going to need some speed to actually win this game. Get some attack flies out of that red chest. I won't argue with that. I mostly just want to recharge for the D6 here, find the item room, you know, potentially get myself something good out of the item room, and then uh, be on my merry way. And I might take the D6 into the boss room as well, um, depending on, you know, if it's if it's charged for reroll or not. If it is charged for reroll, I'll go ahead and take it into the boss room, or I guess I could go back and get it. Oh my goodness, what is shooting at me? You guys saw those, like, red shots coming out of the floor. Um, I was not sure what was shooting at me. Like, the floor was just randomly shooting red shots at me. I don't know, this game is crazy sometimes. Maybe it, like, didn't register that the Mr. Ma head was dead and the Mr. Ma head was still shooting at me, even though he was already dead. I don't know. Um, I do know that I need health, and I need health quickly, if at all possible. Alright, so my D6 is recharged just in time as we find the item room, so that's awesome. Uh, as I lose even more health, so I kind of need a miracle here. Chocolate milk is not a miracle. Neither is mom's bra, so um, I'll definitely be going back and re-rolling those. Well, that item, once I get enough charges to do it. But one thing that I know for a fact I really, really could use is like an arcade, and then I could at least like blow up the blood bank for hearts. 
Um, oh my goodness, how did that hit me? I'm so slow, it's it's a little bit just retarded at this point. Um, there are a couple places where I could check for the Seeker Room, but the Seeker Room isn't going to give me hearts unless I find raw liver in it. Which I could, what could happen, I guess, but it's pretty unlikely. I got hit there again, so I'm pretty much dead now. I'm going to need a red heart drop from this room. And, like, this is just one of those runs where it looked decent, but I just haven't had any hard drops. Like, literally, I had, I think, one red heart drop all of last floor, and I've had one soul heart drop this floor, and that's been it. I just haven't had any way to recover my health. Spoonbender is useless with Mom's Knife. I don't believe the two of them work together. Uh, that's not the secret room. I might as well go up to the shop and check if that is the secret room by the shop. I feel so bad. I'm wa I'm like completely wasting a little chubby mom's knife, Mr. Mega blue candle run. A very, very good run item wise, but I'm just completely wasting it because I've taken so much damage. But my excuse for why I took so much damage is just because I'm playing as Maggie and she's slow as crap and I haven't had any speed upgrades. You know, for the most part, that is true. Um, I am playing as Maggie. She is slow as crap and I haven't had any speed upgrades and Probably at least half the hits that I've taken have been because I'm slow and wasn't fast enough to dodge them. Um, in my mind, that's how I'm going to justify it at least. But uh, hopefully we'll just come across some really, really easy rooms and not die. Uh, that's my that's my general plan here, is just not going to die. That's actually my plan for most runs, believe it or not. Finally a heart drop. I will gladly take that. And this is a pretty easy room, so I shouldn't die on this room unless like something majorly terrible happened. Um, I'd love to get a heart drop from this room, but instead we'll get a card. Two of hearts would have been awesome, but instead it's going to be the Joker. Um, I could, f I could, you know, use that Joker card and rest easy knowing that it can't be Krampus. Oh my goodness, how did I get hit there? Um, and then I like, if it, I find like the mark or the pact in the Joker room, uh, that would take away hearts, but it would also give me soul hearts. Uh, Mark would give me one soul heart, Pact would give me two soul hearts, so that could like help me live, I guess. Um, so I might as well go ahead and use the Joker. I mean, there's no way I'm going to actually earn myself a deal with the devil in this room, room, run. I've been hurt so much. Uh, that's Mom's Eye, which just makes shots shoot out the back of your head occasionally, I believe. Or is that Inner Eye, which is triple shot? I can't remember. I don't know if I want to reroll that or not. And I do know that, hey, I actually got an angel room. So what that means is if you wind up getting yourself a Krampus fight, that does not affect your chances of an angel room. Well, that doesn't mean, like, you can't get an angel room anymore, so that's good to know. Um, I'm not sure if that's Mom's Eye or Inner Eye, but what I do know is neither of those items are particularly amazing with um, Mom's Knife anyway. Inner Eye can be pretty decent, um, but it does not work well with Mom's Knife, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and re-roll that. It just makes the... I don't think it adds any damage to Mom's Knife. It just makes, like, the charge time slower. Or maybe that's uh, Quad Shot that does that. I don't know. It's one of the two. It's either Inner Eye or Quad Shot that does not make the Mom's Knife any stronger. It just makes the cooldown longer. Um, that kind of rhymes. Rhyming accidentally, I know. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get myself another recharge for this. Please don't hit me. Thank you. And we get ourselves a Soul Heart. And if this contains two Soul Hearts, that would be awesome. It does not, but it did contain a whole bunch of flies for me. Anyway, I do have the miter now, so hopefully that means um, I'll get some more soul hearts. I mean, I still just really need to heal up here at, at this current time. But I'll probably go reroll, take whatever item it is, unless it's a craft space bar item. And then I'll go grab myself a blue candle and get ready to fight. Because it doesn't look like there's going to be um, enough rooms left. It only looks like there's one more room left, so please be something good like health up. Well, we get uh, ourselves x-ray vision, which is decent, I guess. Um, I could use this to find myself the secret room, or I mean top secret room. And who knows, maybe that like, could contain a heart or something in it. It could be that room full of hearts room, and if it is, that would be absolutely epic. Uh, it's not here. I am going to go all throughout the floor exploring for this top secret room, because if it's that room full of hearts, because you all know that uh, top secret room that has like seven red hearts in it, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely life-saving for me right now, so... I really could use that. But this does mean I will be able to find every top secret room in the future as long as I explore all the rooms. Haven't found it yet. This is just the regular secret room. There's nothing top secret about this one. 
And I'll grab myself the blue candle. I'll go ahead and buy this. It's the Fool card. I was hoping that would be Lovers um, or Hero Font or, you know, just anything that would help me out health-wise. Oh, there it is. There it is. Roomful Hearts, go. It's not a Roomful Hearts. But it does contain two Soul Hearts, right? Nope. All right, pills here. Tears down. Well, that sucks. And friends till the end. That also kind of sucks. Go ahead and use the Fool. Um, I was really just hoping that one of those would be, you know, I don't know, health down would be nice because that would give me a health up. No, it wouldn't. Never mind. Uh, anything that would have healed me would have been awesome. Anyway, um, let's go fight the boss with our blue candle. See if we can't live this fight. I've been trying my best to stave off death as long as possible. And it is Monstro 2. Uh, okay. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but... Uh, don't don't jump on top of me. I've been like I was I think I spammed the uh, the mouse button for too long and that's that's why it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Please just okay there. Thank you. You did your your side shot at me. That's what I want to call it. And I'm not getting any sound from Monster Two, so I don't know if that's like the game screwing up or what. But okay, so we did get a half heart, which isn't terribly useful. But we got that speed up, and I've been wanting to speed up for a long time, so that is actually quite good. Um, because that means I'm a bit faster now, not a ton faster, but, you know, definitely fast enough to, like, stop the excuses with, oh, the only reason I'm taking damage is because I'm so slow. I mean, this, this helped out a little bit when it comes to that argument, I guess, but, um, all right, blue candle would be nice, but I dropped myself in a corner and I died. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll try Maggie again. Kind of completely squandered that run. I was I was having a pretty good time, but I think I got a little too um, reckless and took too much damage. Anyway, um, hopefully next time we'll try Maggie again. I'll do another Maggie run next time, and it would be awesome to get an Isaac kill with her. Hey, SJP, don't know what I unlock with her when I kill Isaac, but hopefully something good. Anyway, farewell, guys. See you next time.